Stéphane Audrin, a familiar face in the world of cinema, may have first caught your attention at a certain moment. Perhaps it was in a classic film or during a memorable performance that showcased her enduring qualities. What makes Audrin a lasting symbol in the industry? Many have their own cherished memories or personal experiences connected to this Hollywood actor. Share your stories in the comments below, we'd love to hear them. Stay tuned for some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Audrin, making the journey through her career all the more intriguing. Keep watching for more surprises. In the realm of cinema, few figures have left an indelible mark as profound as Stéphane Audrin. Renowned for captivating performances, Audrin was a French actress whose significance resonates through the annals of film history. Born on November 8, 1932, her career spanned several decades, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to intrigue cinephiles. She emerged as a distinguished actress, capturing the attention of audiences and critics alike with remarkable talent and on-screen presence. Audrin's contributions to cinema are particularly notable through collaborations with renowned director Claude Chabrol. She became a muse for him, and their partnership yielded a series of compelling films that showcased her ability to embody diverse roles with finesse. Her portrayal of complex characters in Chabrol's works, such as Le Boucher and La Femme Infidel, showcased her ability to navigate the intricacies of human emotions. Performances were not merely a testament to acting prowess, but also a reflection of the evolving landscape of French cinema during her time. Audrin's significance lies in the ability to breathe life into characters, making them authentic and relatable. Her subtle yet powerful performances left an enduring impact, earning acclaim and accolades, including the prestigious Best Actress Award at the Berlin International Film Festival for her role in Less Bitches. Her influence on the cinematic realm extends beyond her time as work continues to be cherished and studied by those who appreciate the art of storytelling through the lens of a gifted actress. Through captivating performances and contribution to French cinema, Audrin remains an iconic figure, leaving an unmistakable mark on the history of film. In celebrating Stéphane Audrin, we recognize not only the actress, but also the essence she brought to each character, enriching the cinematic landscape with unparalleled talent and depth. The journey through the world of cinema is a captivating exploration of human emotions and storytelling, making Audrin a figure worth celebrating for generations to come. Stéphane Audrin faced a challenging childhood marked by health issues. From ages 6 to 15, she endured renal colic pain and colibacillosis. Her mother, deeply affected by the loss of her first daughter, became fixated on her health, employing hot water packs and thermal baths as rigorous treatments. Despite the difficult early years, Audrin aspired to become an actress. However, her mother, still grieving and disapproving of this ambition, was displeased when she discovered Stéphane engaging in imaginative play, trying on clothes to portray different characters. Compounding her challenges, Audrin lost her father, a doctor, at the tender age of six. In 1971, she took a public stance by signing the Manifesto of the 343, advocating for the legalization of abortion in France. Later, influenced by Chinese medicine, she reconsidered her position, expressing regret and a change of heart regarding her earlier support for the cause. In summary, Audrin's journey from a troubled childhood marked by health issues and family dynamics to her involvement in social causes reflects a complex and evolving life. Her experiences, though challenging, shaped her perspectives and choices, showcasing a multifaceted individual. Stéphane Audrin holds a unique position in the annals of the BAFTA Awards, being one of only three French actresses to clinch the Best Actress accolade since the integration of the Best British Actress and Best Foreign Actress categories. Noteworthy counterparts include Marion Cotillard for her role in La Vie en Rose and Emmanuel Riva in Amour. These achievements underscore her standing in the international film arena. During the filming of The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, Audrin's husband, Claude Chabrol, renowned for his gourmet prowess, took on the role of a culinary virtuoso. His delectable creations became a communal experience on set, enhancing the camaraderie among the cast and crew. In the casting of Babette Herson for Babette's Feast, director Gabriel Axel meticulously considered 50 actresses, among them Audrin. Impressed by her innate Parisian mannerisms, Axel deemed her the ideal choice to create a striking contrast with the Danish characters. Despite initially contemplating Catherine de Nerf, Axel ultimately heeded the advice of Audrin's ex-husband Claude Chabrol, sealing her pivotal role in the acclaimed film. 
Stéphane Audrin's journey from B after recognition to the shared culinary experiences on set and her pivotal role in Babette's Feast exemplifies a career marked by diverse accomplishments and contributions to the world of cinema. It's a testament to her unique presence and impact on the cinematic landscape. In three collaborative ventures with ex-husband Jean-Louis Trintignant, Stéphane Audrin left an indelible mark on cinema. Their films, namely Less Bitches, Without Apparent Motive, and Boulevard Des Assassins, stand as testaments to their professional synergy, despite the absence of collaboration during their marital union. Notably, Audrin graced the screen in two Oscar-winning Best Foreign Language Films, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie and Babette's Feast. These accolades underscore her impact on internationally acclaimed cinematic pieces. In a noteworthy career move, Audrin initially hesitated to portray Isabelle Huppert's working-class mother in Violet, recognizing the role's mismatch with her typical characters. However, this reluctance paved the way for a pivotal opportunity. Her outstanding performance caught the attention of director Gabriel Axel, leading to her iconic role in Babette's Feast, the movie that came to define her cinematic legacy. Stéphane Audrin's cinematic journey, spanning collaborations with Trintignant, contributions to Oscar-winning films, and a transformative role in Babette's Feast, paints a portrait of a seasoned actress who navigated her career with precision and impact. Her story is not just a chronicle of movies, but a nuanced exploration of choices that shaped her cinematic identity. Married to Jean-Louis Trintignant in 1953, Stéphane Audrin's personal life took a turn when their relationship ended due to Trintignant's newfound love for Bridget Bardo on the set of And God Created Woman. Her social circle extended beyond cinema, forming a notable friendship with Carl Lagerfeld, who played a role in designing her wardrobe. As Audrin faced a declining acting career and a divorce from Claude Chabrol, she encountered psychosomatic issues, including fainting fits, memory lapses, concentration difficulties, and chronic fatigue. Turning to Chinese medicine in pursuit of lost energy, she meticulously documented her journey in the book Yun Otter Fason de Vivre. This work delves into the evolution of culture, medicine, and cooking. In conclusion, Stéphane Audrin's life unfolds beyond the screen, marked by relationships, friendships, and a personal quest for well-being documented in her insightful book. Stéphane Audrin's appreciation for gastronomy traces back to her first husband, Jean-Louis Trintignant, who introduced her to Provencal cooking. This culinary passion became a defining aspect of her life. Married to director Claude Chabrol, they collaborated on an impressive 24 movies, one TV movie, and one TV episode. Their professional partnership extended beyond the screen, delving into a shared love for storytelling. In the realm of cinema, Audrin took on the role of Charlotte in Chabrol's adaptation of Goethe's novel Les Affinités Electives. This collaboration showcased her ability to bring depth to characters in nuanced narratives, Notably, Paolo Tavini and Vittorio Tavini's film adaptation of the same novel, titled Elective Affinities, featured Isabel Huppert in Audrin's role. Huppert, having played her daughter in Chabrol's Violet, assumed the position of the director's muse, marking a significant transition in their professional dynamics. Stéphane Audrin's journey in cinema intertwines with personal relationships, notably her culinary experiences with Trintignant, extensive collaboration with Chabrol, and evolving dynamics with fellow actress Huppert. These facets reveal a pragmatic and impactful actress who left a lasting imprint on the cinematic landscape. Jean-Louis Trintignant, in an interview, admitted feeling awkward during the filming of erotic scenes with Stéphane Audrin in Less Bitches. These moments took place under the watchful eyes of Audrin's new husband, Claude Chabrol. During the production of Bluebeard, producer Carlo Ponti expressed dissatisfaction with Audrin's performance, bluntly referring to her as that slut who's playing Fernand. In defense, Chabrol, who was already engaged to Audrin, confronted Ponti, slapping him and asserting, that's my woman. A year later, they tied the knot. Adding a personal dimension, Audrin is the mother of actor Thomas Chabrol, emphasizing the intertwining of her personal and professional life. This snapshot of her life reveals intriguing incidents behind the scenes, showcasing the complexities and dynamics that shaped both her personal and professional relationships. On the set of The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie in 1972, Louis Buñuel playfully teased Audrin by addressing her as Mrs. Chabrol in front of the cast and crew. 
This amusing scenario, orchestrated without malice, became a source of embarrassment for her. Delphine Seyrig, who had previously worked with Buñuel, offered support and reassurance during such moments. Seyrig's encouragement helped Audrin navigate through these light-hearted, yet potentially uncomfortable situations on set. Such anecdotes from the filming provide a glimpse into the dynamics among the cast and the playful interactions that occurred behind the scenes. These instances shed light on the camaraderie and relationships within the film industry, showcasing the human side of Audrin's professional life. Navigating the intricacies of on-set banter and support, Audrin's experiences during the making of this iconic film contribute to the broader narrative of her career in cinema. The blend of professionalism and personal interactions during this period adds a layer of depth to the understanding of Audrin as an actress within the film community, where even playful teasing holds significance in the context of her work.